Hey the Wutsu family, it's Ryan here, and today I want to talk about my birthday. It's my birthday! Okay, it's not actually my birthday quite yet, but it's coming up soon and I've been reflecting on it a little bit. If you've been watching the podcast for the last couple of years, we've talked a little bit about my birthday and this kind of complex ritual that I've constructed around it. And I realized in the last, uh, last year for sure, but in the last two or so years, I've been feeling like my birthday ritual isn't quite doing what I originally intended it to do. You see, back about 10 years ago, I started constructing this birthday ritual because my birthday didn't really feel special. I was kind of too old to make a big deal out of it. Um, I didn't really do anything special to mark the occasions. And so birthdays would come and go and I wouldn't really do anything about it. And, but I felt like I was wasting an opportunity. So I started creating these little things that I would do every year to kind of mark the passage of time. And after a few years, it started to morph into this kind of really big deal. The problem was, is when I started the birthday ritual, I didn't have a job, I was a full-time student, I, I had a social life, but it wasn't really all that complicated. And so it was really easy to fit these things in and accomplish a whole bunch of stuff in one day. But now things are a little different. You know, I have a full-time job, I have a healthy social life, I have a lot of obligations I need to take care of. So it becomes really difficult to try to cram in all of these little birthday rituals into a single day. Let me run down the list for you so you can see how complicated this can get. On the day before at 11.30, a notification goes off and it reminds me to deactivate Facebook at midnight. I make sure to rise early. At some point during the day, I put on a suit. I make sure to exercise. I go get a haircut, I go buy a book, I go for a walk, I'll donate or volunteer to a cause that I care about, I'll make sure to write a journal entry, and finally I'll set a challenge for the upcoming year. When you have a full-time job and you're already getting up early, like a lot of these things have now become a part of my life, and so it's really difficult to kind of make that day special. Now why do I bring this up? It's not because it's about my birthday. Ultimately, like Jim's video last week, it's your opportunity to look back on the last 365 days and figure out, okay, what went well? What didn't go so well? And what can we do better in the future? Ultimately, the birthday ritual for me was a way of adding some structure to an unstructured life and force myself to reflect on where it is that I wanna go and how do I get there? It was all about bettering myself. It was all about making sure I was living intentionally. Now I don't know if this is a, supposed to be a vlog where I just say I'm too busy to be able to pause and reflect, but in the last two years I have noticed that this has been harder and harder to do and it's something that I really need to work on. I've been finding myself not really living intentionally as much as I'd want and tending to live a lot more reactionary. I'm always reacting to things as they come across. I'm always trying to keep up with things that are happening instead of trying to proactively get at them. But what about you? Do you have any end of the year rituals or reflections that you tend to do? Whether it's on your birthday or at the end of the calendar year or at the end of the academic year, do you ever take time to pause and reflect? And if so, what is it that you reflect on? What questions do you ask yourself? What is it the most important things for you to get out of your head and kind of mull over? I'm curious to know, so let me know in the comments down below and I'm looking forward to reading your responses. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and giving me a little bit of your time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one more video out this year, but I'm gonna try really, really hard to squeeze one more out. So I hope to see you once more in 2018, but if not, have a happy new year and I'll see you in 2019 for sure. Anyways, take care and stay awesome.